About an hour's drive from Cochrane, to the west, we arrive at the town of Canmore. I will have a separate video about Canmore at some later time. Just outside the town, we pass the Canmore Nordic Center, a great outdoor sports place with trails for hiking, cross-country skiing and crazy mountain biking as well. Highway 742 takes us past the Nordic Center, with grassy lakes to the left, to the Whiteman's Pond, a popular destination with trailheads to the east end of Rundle Mountains, and one a bit further down with access to the impressive Haoling Peak. is very icy today, but we are motoring along smoothly and we enjoy the view, especially here next to the Spray Ranger Station at the Spray Lakes Reservoir. During the winter, a few local dock sledding tour operators visit this area. It is fun to watch the all excited huskies during prep time for the next sled adventure. By the way, Highway 742 in this stretch is also known as the Smith Dorian Trail, named after a former British Army General, Horace Smith Dorian. We are in the middle of February. The temperature is not too bad at all, hovering around minus 8 degree today. But make no mistake, it can get very cold up here. Minus 30 to minus 40 are not unusual this time of year. During summer, this road is very dusty and quite busy too, so winter is a bit easier on our car tires and windshield. We are entering the Peter Lougheed Provincial Park with its majestic mountain peaks and beautiful valleys. If you plan to visit here during berry season, make sure to bring along your bear spray. Peter Lougheed was one of Alberta's most prominent law and political figure during the late 60s and mid 80s. He was also one of the most popular premiers in Canadian history.
Let's turn left and head on Highway 40 back to Highway 1, the main highway that runs all the way from Eastern Canada to Western Canada, coast to coast. I hope you enjoyed this short excursion. Bye for now.